All right, guys, welcome back to another video. This video is a uh, inflatable Halloween display. Actually, some of you may have already seen this. This is my friend Alan, Revenge of the Apocalypse. This is his display. But he wanted to share it with me to share it with you guys to show you some of the cool stuff that he has in his yard. So we're going to spin the camera around and show you. So starting off, we got this guy right here. And then behind them we got all these other cool ones. You got the pumpkin back there. Do have to watch where I'm walking because they are tethered. You see they have these black tethers. So I want to make sure I don't trip over them. Here's the nightmare before Christmas. Complete with tombstone. And this shot right here, this is pretty cool with the fall colors behind it. That just really makes it stand out. And I would have to say this is probably my favorite of the bunch. The Grim Reaper. <laughs> with his bony hands. And then over here, on the other side of the bush. You got this ghostly looking guy. This has got to look pretty cool in the dark with the lights going inside. Here you got a ghost on a pumpkin. Is anybody superstitious of black cats? Because <gasps> we got one! <laughs> Vicious looking, isn't he? Here we go, we got the Nightmare Before Christmas again, Jack Skeleton, and what is her name? Sally, yeah, sorry. So here we got the Nightmare Before Christmas again with Jack Skellington and Sally. Everybody scream! And of course their trusty little sidekick, Zero. And then over here we got my second favorite. I'm going to have to put you on wide angle because of his wingspan. And just to give you a size comparison of how big he actually is. Oh, okay, that works too. <laughs> so that's, Alan, you're about what, six foot? Six four. Six four, so that's, yeah, at least another foot and a half, well, with the horns. Yeah, this one's 13 and a half. Okay, there you go. So thank you for that. He's kind of cool looking too. Now we'll make our way over to this side. I don't want to step on the cat. Meow. Again, these tethers, gotta be careful of the tethers. Whoop. And you got this creepy log. This one's lighting up purple inside. Actually, there's a... Let's see if we can get that shot. There we go. Thumbnail. <laughs> then you got this guy over here. He's pointing at us. Oh my God, what are we gonna do? So this one's got to be a good 15 feet or so, 13 feet. It's like if I can reach him, I could high five him, but I can't reach him. I can get this side. Here we go. There we go. There's our high five. <laughs> and 
Mm. All right, so there's a look at Allen's inflatables, Halloween decorations. He started off with a couple and then added some more and then added some more, then added some more and wants to add some more. <laughs> okay, so this is the first one he's ever owned and that's what started this whole crazy addiction. <laughs> so you have anything you'd like to add? Um, that. Well, as far as my displays go, this isn't everything that I have there's actually two more crates full of them inside oh, sorry let's start that over again hold on okay, okay so for right now because this is actually where we just moved this isn't everything there's two more crates inside the house um, that I haven't been able to put out yet and that's mainly because of just all the bushes and everything but the only ones that I've actually done this year that are 2020 are the Jack and Sally tombstone that was right here. There's a couple more that I'm getting now that I'm going to save for next year. Uh, but he he says that now, but guaranteed once he gets them, he'll put them out. Maybe. We're also going to have some animatronics for next year. Well, this year, I am going to put that out. Um, only on Halloween night, I'm going to put the animatronics out. But again, the only thing new for this year is that. And then the one skeleton over here probably be this way. This one is actually Home Depot's decayed skeleton. It's a new variation of the plastic skeletons. And I gotta say, I personally think that it's a lot cooler than just your average, you know, like white skeleton. And the only place I've seen this available at is Home Depot. Guess I gotta get the Home Depot. <laughs> yeah. And he blends so nicely with the surroundings. And the other thing too that I, I, I will actually mention on this. I have, there's a blow up over there on the mailbox, which you're not, or not a blow up, a skeleton on the mailbox over there that you're not gonna be able to see. But that one came from Walmart. It doesn't have light up eyes. It doesn't do anything. It was $25. The Home Depot ones, this one and the white one, and there's also a black one now, which is supposed to be like an ashy color um, skeleton. They're always 30 bucks. Lowe's, same thing, $30, but they're prone to breaking. Um, I actually just kind of cut one in half. I took the legs off because the legs snapped. Um, so Home Depot is actually by far the best place to get any of the skeletons. If you go to Big Lots or anything like that, you're going to be paying 50 plus. And honestly, Home Depot is my number one go-to for the plastic skeletons. Um, Home Depot is also the place that has the new for 2020 12 foot plastic skeleton, which is completely sold out and you can't find it anywhere. Mm. Um, and honestly, even for inflatables, I got to say Home Depot wins. Just 100%. Okay. Good to know. So there you go. And then we'll, we'll take a little walk down here. We'll give you a little bonus of what he did to his Jeep. So this guy here, this is the one he was just talking about where he cut the legs off. Here you can see there's the one at the mailbox. That's the one from Walmart. This one's from Home Depot, which now he's legless. But... This is what he did to his Jeep. And this one's from... Which one did you say this one's from? This one's Home Depot. And the rest of that's Spirit Halloween. Okay, and the rest of this came from Spirit Halloween. And this guy's cool, especially now after we've been out playing in the mud. <laughs> He's even got his tail wrapped around the handle. <clears throat> and you got the chains, which are dollar store. And then the two-headed snake. Where'd the other one go? 
the other one's inside because I'm going to do that thing with the hood. Oh, okay. That's going to wrap it up for that. First off, I want to thank Alan for showing me his display and sharing it with you guys as well. And the nice little bonus of it, the extra skeletons in the Jeep and the fall colors. Can't beat the fall colors, especially in this area. My goodness, it's... If you guys are inflatable fans, make sure you subscribe and leave a comment down below and let him know to go check out some more locations because you guys know that I know some pretty cool spots. What he said. Well, that's that. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll catch you in the next one.